You're about to meet a brave little Perth boy who makes a habit out of defying his doctors. Owen D. Candillo's parents were told their son may never walk, talk or even smile. But he's proving them wrong thanks to his family, including a special uncle, former AFL star Jared Schofield. You're in. Standing up. This is a boy... Good job. ..who doctors said may never walk... <laughs> ..and never smile. Yes, he talking, he talking, yeah. But Owen D. Candelo is now two and a half years old. Oh, I'm a proud uncle. Um, you know, it's my only nephew and, you know, just to see him grow as a young boy. He's proving the doctors wrong with moments like these. Moments Jared Schofield refused to miss. <laughs> Owen is one of the reasons the Premiership Waffle coach turned down an offer to join Port Adelaide this year as an assistant coach. In the industry of football, um, raising awareness is the big thing, um, showing the appreciation of, you know, there are life challenges, um, but you can always look at the positive that comes out of it. So, look, for me, I'll do anything for, for, for my little, uh, little Owen. Owen has a rare condition called listen carefully. His brain is smooth like an egg. The toddler has severe developmental issues and his life expectancy is shorter. What did doctors tell you about the condition and how Owen was going to be? We were basically told that he would be affected in every way possible, so um, we didn't know what to expect, whether he would ever smile, hold his head properly, sit, um, crawl, walk, talk. <laughs> you love the sound of kisses. Owen's condition affects around eight children in WA. He never used to be able to do this and we would always have to be very close to him in case he would fall. That's what our goal is always, just to try and gain that independence for him. Mm -hmm. It was a very different Owen a year ago and his family hit the pavement for Run For A Reason to raise money for this. <laughs> The NAPA program, which is normally based in Los Angeles, but in April this year, therapists travelled to Melbourne and so did Owen. Three weeks, 60 hours of intense therapy, including time in this revolutionary neurosuit, exposing Owen's fragile body to movements he's never experienced. Over the three weeks, we really saw his stamina just increase massively. We just really want to be able to do it more often. Yeah. And that means more fundraising. Each three-week session is about $12,000. Osborne Park Gym Movement Co is getting right behind the family. It offers free 90-minute sessions every Saturday morning, but there's a catch. All we ask is that they donate an amount to the charity um, based on what they thought the value of the workout was. Every month, a charity is chosen. For June, it's all for Owen. Amazing that everyone's getting involved in helping out our young warrior. And it doesn't stop there. Supported by the Saba Rose Button Foundation, Owen's family is holding a gala night in October. We don't know what the future may hold, whether he will progress to the next stages, but we're driven to do anything that we can to make that possible. Tracy Vaux, Nine News.